on a recent episode of The Experience, Jim said he had worn a bulletproof vest and told Brian to remind him to get back to that story, but that never happened. Jim, what is the bulletproof vest story? Okay, well, Ed, well, and thank you very much, Tim, for uh, bringing us back to to where we were trying to go to begin with. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, it, in Little Rock, Arkansas, and this was early in the Mid South run, so probably springtime ish. The Little Rock Police Department did security at the matches at the Barton Coliseum, and they had apparently just gotten new bulletproof vests. In and in, in provided to them through the department because one of the guy and it, see it was the same, it was the same cops especially on the heel side all the time because the promoters like to use the same guys because then they were loyal to them and they'd overlook certain things that may happen because they were getting a payoff for being there and at the same time they knew to pro- how to watch the fans and protect the heels and it was beneficial all around in in your regular towns to have the same crew especially when they are legitimate police officers and can take people to jail, it's nice that the wrestlers always had them on their side, right? Or whenever they could get them on their side. Anyway, one of the cops that always walks us out, and this was the, this was the place where when I was coming back from the ring, somebody vomited on my leg. Little Rock. This is the place where they called in the death threat to DiBiase. The, the, they were going to shoot him, and then I, that's the night I was in the cage over the ring where I was a sitting duck. <clears throat> Little Rock was a tough place, and usually we would get like eight of the uniformed police officers and they would form somewhat of a circle around us. Other places they'd walk you, they'd get in front of you and they'd get in back of you, but you're walking down an aisle. So your sides are open here in little rock. They kept the aisles a little bit wider down the middle of the seats and the cops could get on the sides of you also, which was necessary and coming back from the ring. A lot of times our, my desert designated dedicated policeman was this guy that was like 6'3", but he had to weigh 400 pounds. And he's in the goddamn biggest police uniform you've ever seen, the biggest gun belt and everything you've ever seen in your life. And what he would do is he would, when I would, after a match, when they were really hot, a couple of the cops get in front, a couple on the side, a couple behind, Bobby and Dennis and me in the middle, but he would bear hug me and walk backwards down the aisle looking over my back because he was so wide that nobody could get to me to my front because he was in front of me and he could watch my back as he was backing me down the aisle with his arms around me. This is how fucking prepared this goddamn exit got right in little rock. And people now think, what the fuck are you talking about? They were trying to get us. So one of the cops comes in one night and said, Hey, we just got new bulletproof vests and I've brought my old one because I think you might should use it. <laughs> and I'm, oh, fuck. <laughs> Because when's the last time that a a city policeman told you that you should be wearing a bulletproof vest in any instance, right? So that got my attention automatically. And then he said, now, it, 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 it especially, he said, I don't know that we have to worry about you getting shot at, but this is also useful for knives. It'll keep you from getting cut and stabbed. I said, oh, that's good to know. He said, but it won't stop an ice pick. So he's really pepping me up for this, but he gives me the goddamn thing, right? Yeah, I mean, this is what they're telling me. People wonder why I was fucking uh, conflicted a time or two about whether I should quit the fucking business at ringside down there or not. Anyway, so I started wearing it when, in a couple of places, Tulsa, uh, Little Rocks, but when we had, uh, we expected to have an issue and maybe once or twice in another town when it just looked real sketchy, you know, like maybe a spot show or something where we can't even count on the cops being on our side. So, you know, but most of the time Tulsa um, and 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 I didn't want to I'm already thinking, ah, oh, fuck, you know, I don't really want to telegraph this because then the boys will make fun of me. So what I would do is I would go in, <laughs> I'd go in the bathroom and I'd take my jacket and my shirt off real quick, and I'd put the uh, bulletproof vest on and then put my shirt on over the top of it, buttoned up, which is what the cops do. They're wearing it underneath all their shit, right? And then put the jacket on, and you couldn't really tell I had it, but a couple of times when the baby faces hit me with body shots, they were like, what the fuck? He's harder than we thought he was. Because <laughs> I, had, I had that fucking Kevlar or whatever it was <laughs> back in those days on underneath my shirt, but... It it made me feel a little bit better. You know, I'm thinking, okay, if nobody shoots me directly in the head 
or brings an ice pick, you know, I should be all right. But yeah, it, it, by the end of the year, it, it had outlived its usefulness. And, and I normally, then there's a few times working for Crockett that I think I brought it back out of retirement and a few times that I wish I just carried it around with me all the time for just such an occasion, but I kind of got away from it. But in, in mid South, it was useful. You know how much money you can make at the conventions right now if you have like a stab me booth? <laughs> you, wear your Kevlar vest. <laughs> you know, I don't of, of all the things that I've got, I haven't seen that thing in twenty something years. I don't know what happened to it. It was it was because imagine this fucking it's you can't just take these to the dry cleaners. And this cop had worn it every day in duty until they got the cop's new one. So the um material that kind of enveloped it, like sort of like a pillowcase, not a pillowcase, but just a case thing where it was material, was already it had holes in it and everything was all discolored and i think it stunk so bad in my closet that i may have eventually tossed it i don't know 